Hey guys, I just wanted to show the new Festool hand driver that's gonna be coming out here in the States very soon. Festool recently switched over their bit manufacturing from Weha, which is a very popular German hand tool company over in Germany, to Wear, which is also another very popular hand tool company. Uh, they both make great screwdrivers and are probably some of the best screwdrivers you can actually uh, find. But for outside of their woodworking tools, Festool has always been known for going to other manufacturers such as Wear and Weha to create the tools they don't such they don't specialize in. So this is our current hand driver by Festool for the Central Tech. This is made by Weha, and this just came out overseas and will probably be coming out here in the states around 2021. This is the new one. It goes by the same part number. Uh, it's going to be replaced in pretty much any of the Central Tech kits and will, from here on going forward, will be the new hand driver. And the big difference between it is Festival recently came out with the new Impact Drive, uh, their Impact Driver, uh, just this year. And it seems like when they came out with that, that's when they decided to change over their manufacturers from Weha over to Wera. Wera is very well known with the uh, making different impact bits and such. And they both make some of the best screwdrivers you can, that you can buy. And right here is the original, or one of the original hand drivers by Festool. Again, this is designed by Weha. You can see it has the same handle. Weha makes a bunch of other ha uh, hand drivers that are very similar shape and feel texture. And they are, they're great. Although these are specifically designed with central tech ends. Uh, this is honestly my favorite. I wish they still made this just because I could take a lot of different, say a right angle bit from a CSX and put it on here, but they don't manufacture it, but it's probably one of my favorite Festool drivers that I've ever had. And you can see right here, this is a Wera 816R. I've had this for quite a while and it's pretty much identical to the Festool driver. They do have a slight different texture to it. They're both pretty rubberized. But other than that, they work the exact same, have the exact same chuck, everything. Uh, and you'll even see in Festool's new impact bit holder, it looks just like this, but with this color green, Festool green. And again, it's made by Wera. So going forward, it seems like Festool's gonna have all their central tech bits, whether it's uh, just their standard, standard impact bits or any of their central tech bits, they're gonna be made by Wera, where this is out of their older central tech kit, this is made by Weha, and the nice thing is with their new driver, it's backwards compatible with Central Tech, but will also work with standard bits also. So you could see, so this is the new one. It will accept just a standard hex bit. This is actually out of a Wera package I have, and this will work with any impact drill or just any other, any driver. But right here is a Central Tech. That also works. Locks in there, stays in there, and it works great. I've been using these for years, and right here is a, another wear driver. This is probably one of the more popular ones. You could pull this out, you could put it in your impact, uh, or just in your drill, use it as a blocking bit. You can have an extension, it will go in. And then it also pops up, it's a bit storage. So this was actually one of my first Wera tools, and it really got me into and following Wera, and ever since then, I've been a very big fan of theirs. So I'm actually very happy to see Festool switching over to them, because I probably use Wera more so than I do Weha, even though they both make some great tools. This is one of Wera's uh, electrical screwdrivers. It's insulated. Uh, it doesn't, it uses a whole new system, so it's not backwards compatible with any of these, but if you ever do need just some insulated screwdrivers, where it does make some really nice ones that work really well if you're in the electrical field. Going back to the actual drivers, this I'm actually not quite sure if this will work. Let's find out. Yeah, that's the big difference between some of these older drivers. So this one doesn't accept a standard, a standard bit. Uh, this was only compatible with Central Tech, and that may be why they're getting away with it, it's away from their older just Central Tech only especially now since they're doing a standard impact driver, that standard impact driver just takes standard bits. It doesn't take any central tech or anything. It's just a normal impact driver. And so I think they're going to wear a, to focus more on just standardizing their bits rather than the central tech uh, process. I believe when central tech originally came out, it was back in the day where the machining of these bits weren't 
wasn't exactly great. And the central tech allowed for more stability. You'll see uh, the bits would go in much, much farther in and provide much more stability to the bit. But over the years in the machine, over 20 years or so, the machining and everything of manufacturing process of these bits have gotten a lot better. And I'm sure a lot of you guys, if you buy Milwaukee, Makita, or any of their tools, a lot of the uh, standard bits work great. So the Central Tech is kind of, it's, I still love Central Tech, but I don't know if it's really needed. So it's nice seeing Festo go more towards standard, standard bits now, or at least supporting it on some of their tools. I believe you could, so if you really needed to, you could always I'll put it in here, but the actual Central Tech Chuck never actually worked. Uh, let's actually see right here. I don't think I've ever tried using one of these. So it did work on this. So yeah, if you have a standard bit, I normally would always just keep this in my Central Tech kit. If I ever needed it, I would just use my Central Tech bits. But going away from Weha over to where now, you can use pretty much any bit. You can use Central Tech, standard, they're all gonna work and you're gonna see more and more wear style bits. I even think the new Festool sells a new set of little pocket swivel for impact bits for their new impact driver. And that's a direct copy of Wera's uh, because Wera manufactures it. It's just a different version of Wera's branded as Festool and they sell it for quite a bit more. So if you don't care about the Festool brand, you can save some money. Like I said, uh, this right here is Wera's impact or hex Bit driver, you can put it in your impact drill. I've been using my impacts for years. And Festool sells this exact same one for quite a bit more money. So if you're looking to save money and get the exact same product, you can always go Wera. But if you do like that Central Tech brand, uh, I believe Festool currently charges around $32 for uh, this driver right here. I don't see that they're gonna decrease the price. So this is probably gonna be when they switch this over, will be the exact same price, if not even a price bump knowing festival uh but if you want the exact same driver like i said this wera six uh eight one six r it works great and you can actually buy these in big kits with a bunch of different bits in them so it's a great tool uh, i'm very happy to see festo going towards wera because it's a great company and they really specialize in hand tools and when you start seeing a lot of the wera bits you won't be you won't be disappointed with the quality of the wearer tools. So thank you guys.